A man on the run in Mexico for months finally faced a judge today here in Washington. 21-year-old Antonio Lopez is accused in a hit and run that killed cousins who'd stopped along I-5 for another accident. Lopez pleaded not guilty. Tonight, in an exclusive interview, the mothers of Skylar Thornton and Terrell Aaron talked to King 5 about their heartache that they've suffered since their sons were killed in that February crash. Here's King 5's Cornelius Hawker. Three mothers, Arletha Struthers, Grizel Lazoya, and Tamiko Struthers. Any loss of life is going to leave a wound. Bonded by profound heartache. They're missed so much. I mean, just each one of them meant so much to so many people. We miss him 24-7. Every single second of my life, I miss my son. There's not a day that has gone by that I haven't cried. The lives of Terrell Aaron, Kevin Lazoya, and Skylar Thornton cut short. Terrell and Skylar cousins killed in February. They were stopped along I-5 after a minor accident when they were hit by a car. 21-year-old Antonio Lopez is accused of being behind the wheel of the car that hit them. If by any chance, Antonio, you would be watching, pretend I'm your mother, how would you feel watching your mother go through what we're going through? When Grizel heard about what happened in February, she knew she had to reach out. I'm going to be every single court here because I want to support these moms like me because we are suffering. Grizel's son, Kevin, was killed in 2017 in a deadly hit and run in Issaquah. The person convicted of the crime, according to court records, a then 15-year-old Antonio Lopez. I want this, this criminal person be in jail a long time because that way he's not going to be killing innocent people. These moms. And I long to hear him say mom. Forced together by fate, forging a path forward for their sons. They are so missed every day. It's like the chain is broken and that's, you can't put it back together because that spot's always going to be there. Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News. Antonio Lopez's attorney, Brian Hirschman, spoke with King 5 as well today. He had this to say to the victim's families. Whether my client's innocent or guilty, it's terrible. Uh, my heart goes out to these people. And I don't know how other people deal with this. I go home at night and pray for these people. I cannot imagine the pain they're experiencing. Whether or not my client did it or is deserving of this is a secondary issue. He also says that he's going to ask the judge to not allow the prosecution to bring up his client's prior hit and run conviction. Lopez will be back in court for this latest case, September 11th.